All right, so now it's important to go ahead after you have a good foundation, all right? It doesn't have to be completely finished. Just have a good foundation with your drum uh, loop, okay? It's time to go ahead and track out your beat, okay? Or track out your EDM track. The key thing you want to keep in mind when tracking something out is it's really just the process of turning it now into a song, okay? So the quickest way to do this is just to highlight what you have here, okay? I deleted all the other tracks, and it's real simple to delete a track. You just highlight or click on it, and it's push delete, okay, until the track is gone. But I deleted all the other tracks that were there, and so, yeah, we're going to highlight it, and I'm going to push, I'm going to copy it and paste it. And so this is the quickest way to do this. All right. Now, if you. If you just push command and C. All right. It's going to copy all of these tracks. You can click right here. And if you look on your keyboard. All right. Anywhere on your keyboard, you look next to the to, next to the leather letter M. There's a greater than and less than sign or a less than greater than sign. Those greater than or less than signs can help you to maneuver within this track, okay? Again, it's right next to the letter M on your Mac keyboard. You're looking for the greater than and the less than sign. All right, now you're going to basically go to the end of that, that loop, okay? And then you're going to take, uh, push Command V. All right. Now, when you push command V is going to basically paste that track and you can just keep on putting it on there. Keep pasting until you get to. Say about around a hundred and. You know, about three minutes and 45 seconds, you, you, you can you can basically go from beats or, or bars to time like that. And I'm at like 161 bars. And that equals out to 345. Anyway, that's what you want to do. Now, once that's done, make sure you go ahead and save. And we're going to start off tracking this beat out. Now, before we track it out, you have to understand song format. Now, EDM song format is, is different than, say, a, a normal song format. All right. Um, if you notice in, in most EDM music, Sometimes they might have like a good long, a, a long vamp where just the, where you hear nothing but the drums. And then they might have a long vamp where you hear nothing but just the melody. And all of a sudden, all of the music would, you know, drop out and they would have some type of a transition uh, sound. And then all of a sudden the beat would change up. OK. And so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go through that process. But before we do that, we have to have some type of an intro. We have to have it does have to still follow some type of a format, but is this going to this is going to be a little bit different how we break it down. So like, what, I, what I'm going to do is you just you can just basically mute out all of the tracks. That's the first step. All right. And then you can go ahead and push your loop on and just unmute different parts of the beat to see what which part do I want to use as a intro. Which part do you want to use as an intro? So let's just do that right now. That sounds too basic. You know what I mean? Another thing about this is you if, if, the, if the song is, say, too fast, you can always during this part come in here and say, all right, it's 170 is a little too fast for this song. Let's just let's see if it 160. So yeah, most most EDM tracks start off with like, you know, just the melody part. So that's what we're going to do here. I just, I liked how that started off. Just keep it simple.
And this 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 will be more so be the part where you're just really analyzing what you want to do. All right. After in the next lecture, we're actually going to go ahead and lay down the different parts of the song. So I'll see you in that next lecture.